What is going on YouTube? Today I will be going over kind of a generalized idea of the build progress with the AP2. Um, as, <clears throat> excuse me, as we know, I uh, got rid of the Craftsworks Supercharger Kit and I'm going big turbo, 61, 66, no big deal, from on three performance. Uh, shout out to the guys at on three. Uh, always hooking this up, They're great people. I do recommend them, go check them out. That's all we run right now, so I mean, best bang for your buck. Um, let's jump into this. I'm gonna do kind of like an overview and then there will be a series of playlists on my YouTube and it's going to be everything. I mean like, this is gonna be, hopefully, you know how shit goes, uh, hopefully it's gonna be very detail oriented. So we're gonna start off by kind of going over everything and then, you know, every video will follow. So let's get into this. First step, I am putting another differential in the car because the other one exploded. So you will be getting a video on installing the innovative solid mounts as well as the entire differential and axles and extended wheel studs for the 15 by 10 VMSs. Uh, these are like weld reps, if you will. I personally think VMSs are better just because it's the exact same thing, the exact same spec for, I mean, I got this pair for $380, so, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, so extended lug studs. Okay, so first things first, I gotta clean up the aftermath from the diff kind of exploding. So I've got a bunch of oil everywhere. It's on the exhaust under the car. This exhaust is actually coming off because I'm going hood exit. So I'm just gonna start pulling that and go from there. So here are the diff mounts. I have them on the differential right now. Obviously, you know, they're kind of upside down because they go like this. I assume this arrow faces to the front of the car. I don't know. This one's marked L for left. That one's marked R for right. And it's pretty much an automotive standard. The side of the vehicle goes off of when you're sitting in the car. So when you're sitting in the car, the left side is the driver's side, right side the passenger side. So I got the exhaust out. Let's get this, uh, this diff in. Look at this pile of rags. Look at that. And to make things more clear, this is, let me switch to 0.5 here. This is like my trunk pan area. And then all right here is where those rags just cleaned. To get it really clean, uh, like around here and whatnot, I'm gonna have to drop the subframe, which is not an issue, but I just want the car on the ground. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna throw the diff back in and leave the subframe in. And then come this winter, I'm gonna drop the subframe. It's getting solid bushings, new rear control arms, and then we are going to completely reclean and powder coat it another black. So that's for next time. It is 2.30 in the morning and I'm gonna take a break. That differential is kicking me a new one. So my phone's gonna die anyways, I figured. Might as well lay down and take a nap because I have to be up and on the road by 8 o'clock in the morning to go return an engine from an eBay purchase because I got it. And uh, timing guides were broken in half. Uh, it's for the HHR. So, got to drive up to Toledo and return that. But uh, once I get back from that, I will be back on this and uh, hopefully getting this video out to you guys. So... As you can see, I got the rear diff mounts in as well as uh, the front diff mounts in. I got everything torqued with Loctite as well as the drive shaft. And now I'm pulling the knuckles. I got the passenger side off already, working on the driver's side right now. So I can take them to the shop or I have a press in case I need to press these out and press new ones in. If not, I have more tools there than I do here. So it's more convenient anyways. So yeah, we're getting there. Well, the S2000 officially cannot be put on the ground, but got the ARP extended lug studs here, uh, all 10 of them. Got the knuckles in the back of the truck and the Milwaukee tool bag in the back of the truck. And we are ready to head to the shop in the morning, but for the time being, it's time to watch some Netflix. Look at that guy. Ooh, power. Okay, so I got the extended lug studs installed on the S2000 knuckles. 
I have the dust shields over there. I'm trashing them just because when you press the wheel bearings out on these, you have to kind of mangle them up. And I'm not putting bent ones up. They're just going to keep rubbing on my rotors and such. So I am throwing these on the car just like this. And then my AP1 knuckles will be getting done the same thing. But I will have ordered new dust shields for that. And then, you know, I'll be ready for the process there. Right. So as you can see here, this is on the passenger side. I just wrapped up the driver's side as well. We got the extended lug studs installed as well as new axles and the AP1's differential in with the solid bushings. This thing is going to be golden. Now it's time to throw some wheels on it. So uh, I don't have the VMSs mounted and balanced yet. So I'm going to be throwing the stocks back on the rear. So it's going to look a little goofy, but bear with me. And finally, after weeks, I got the car back on the ground. And then Tuesday after work, I'm going to jack the front end up, pull the header, sell the exhaust. Might keep it in case I want to go turbo back eventually. But for the most part, I'm pretty decided with the titanium hood exit coming out right here. I mean, it makes sense. Car's already got a hole in the hood. So let me know what you think down below. Other than that, I'm exhausted. I'm filthy. I need to go in, take a shower, and wrap up for the night. So if you have any questions, uh, drop a comment. Otherwise, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.